Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, aka I'm Ghostbusters, and today I'm doing a quick review for Loud on the Nintendo Switch. Now this was released on the 15th of July 2022 and it is a cool little rhythm game now i was a huge fan of guitar hero rock band back in the day i had all the plastic guitars the drum kits everything absolutely love a good rhythm game so getting a chance to play a brand new one i was instantly down to do that so i jumped straight in and actually this game is pretty fun now i did play this on the nintendo switch and the only downside i can say is literally the switch controller so the way it works is you push the buttons as your notes go into the stars as you can see on the screen on the left there's three um like guitar necks they are done using the d-pad on the switch so the up left and down and on the the right side they are done by the x a and b button so you press them as you get into the stars to so obviously do the notes however because i have big fat fingers uh, and not little hands every now and again i would click on the wrong button or catch two at a time thus messing up my sort of streak however once you get used to it it's not too bad so you, this game plays similar to sort of classic guitar hero and other sort of rhythm games um you hold you press the button on the quick notes you hold it down on others there's bits where you've got a mash buttons and you can wiggle the sticks uh, like the thumbsticks to sort of get a bit more points however it is pretty difficult to do that i'm not gonna lie i didn't do it very often now the game itself features um three standard difficulty levels plus one extreme difficulty level as well uh, which you can go for if you really want i enjoyed playing this on just sort of normal what you're seeing now is a video of what the devs did and it's immense i don't know how they play it like this i have not got the finger capacity to keep up with what they're doing but hey um it is what it is and they do a fantastic job with it now the game features uh, a story, basically, it's a, a coming of age story about this teenage girl called Astrid who basically dances around in the bedroom with a broomstick, wishing she was a guitarist, she wants to be into rock and stuff like that. And then one day her dad gives her an electric guitar and it's like a journey of her obviously becoming a successful guitarist. And I quite enjoyed it. Like I say, it's nice to have the like the proper story mixed in around the gameplay, the like the rhythm gameplay. It doesn't affect what you do in the um, the actual songs, but it's better than just the generic, oh, I am generic rock star and I'm just playing for bands and stuff like that. Now, gameplay wise, like I say, it's pretty straightforward can get extremely difficult now unlike guitar hero where you can sort of see how well you're doing in this game you can't which is the worst bit about it because you don't know how far off you are from getting a fail and you get like three strikes and you're out and unfortunately it's not super clear what sort of qualifies for a cross and what doesn't and you can't sort of in Guitar Hero, you could fluff the song completely, but then come back and be like full stars, not have to worry. Whereas if this, if you mess it up too much at the beginning, you're going to struggle for the rest of a song, basically, because you literally have that three strikes and you are done. But it's all about getting your streaks up and your multipliers up to get the most points and basically getting the highest score possible on all the songs. Now, the story and the game takes place across four chapters and there are 14 um, unique songs included in the game. They're all sort of original songs for the game. They're all pretty cool. None of them are like going to be super memorable, but they're all adequate, fun to listen to, enjoyable, and it's always nice when you get a nice bit of rock to sort of play along to. Now, graphically, this game is a very sort of... Um, simple art style but it works really well it's got that really nice overlay when you're in the songs i really enjoy and i enjoyed the whole thing from start to finish it's not super long like i say you're not going to get hours and hours you've not got hundreds of songs like other rhythm games but like i say you're only paying 
at full price, £10.79. And for that, like I say, you're going to get the 14 songs, you're going to get the full story mode and stuff like that. You can't complain at that. And honestly, it was a very fun experience. And it's really great to go back to Rhythm Games. I, I hope more come out uh, in the future. Now, this is all going to depend on if Rhythm Games are your... Um, sort of thing or if you'd like the switch controller because like i say if you don't like the switch controller this may really wind you up on the switch i do believe it is out on other um systems i know it's out on steam so if the switch controller isn't um good enough for you then you can at least check it out on steam i think it's either out now or it's coming soon and I would highly recommend playing it on a better controller or keyboard because that's the only downside to this game is that the switch pad lets it down because it's so tiny unless you're unless you're a borrower if you're a borrower you'll probably really enjoy this uh, you'll have loads of space for your fingers but for me with my big fat thumbs sometimes and not really on any fault of my own because i'm just my fingers are so big like my one thumb can go across all four buttons so i'd push one button and i'd be it, it'd mess it up and it wound me up uh to no end but check it out like i say it's available right now it's on switch and it's coming to steam or it is available on steam right now depending on when you're watching this so check it out really good really fun game at a budget price and you're going to get a great experience but that's that for this review guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now